Hi, everybody, and welcome to week 10. Um, I am looking forward to continuing our work in this course, and I'm also looking forward to explaining where we're going from here. Um, <clears throat> so let's jump into what we have going on this week. So we're on our homepage. We're going to jump into our class. You'll see the week 10 announcement. Um, I'm going to be putting this video again right below this um, caption right here. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to navigate over to our course content. And we are going to go down to this item right here. Um, <clears throat> so it's 2D Media Continued, and this is your assignment. So very much like in the past, um, now you're going to be going out and applying the skills and ideas and concepts that you've learned this following week or this past week into this following week. So for this week's assignment, your task is to select a work of art in the realms of photography, computer arts, or graphic design just one um, work of art. The chosen work of art should exemplify the theme of persistence of evolution. So as you um, uh, read and uh, were exposed to this past week of um, artwork, um, you can see that there was a common theme that was starting to take place, which is this persistence of evolution. So we figured out how to display uh, moments in time. We were, were able to capture moments in time and we're able to start really reaching out as far as our communication goes on a much larger basis. And this area of um, art appreciation where we talk about photography, computer arts, and graphic design is really where it catches up and speeds up to modern day. Even though these items still hold a place um, that, you know, in history, they are very much modern concepts in that the creation of these items, a lot of it has to do, not all, but a lot of it has to do with this idea of getting things out and using visual communications to send a message. We saw that really um, apparent in photography and in photojournalism. Um, we also saw um, some dabbling of of really incredible technology in camera art, um, camera, uh, camera art and graphic design. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. I'm tripping over my words. And um, it's starting to beg to wonder how far is too far? What's too much? Maybe nothing's not enough, right? Maybe we should just be going as far as we can take things because that's our job as human beings. And we have the technology and we have the wherewithal as human beings to go there. There's no right or wrong answer to that question, um, but it is in that just a question that I'm interested in um, having your perspective on. And knowing what your perspective is will aid you in being able to talk about things, not just art, we're using art as the vehicle, but being able to um, start talking about controversial things that we see in our everyday life. So your chosen work of art can reflect either of these perspectives, highlighting the positive impact technology advancement has had or prom uh, prompting critical reflection on the potential consequences of pushing technology too far. Um, one of the things that I am dealing with um, personally in my um, high school role is that um, the implications of AI, um, chat GPT, how, whose work is whose work, and um, how do I navigate that? You know, and so that is something that I'm questioning myself right now. So um, with that being said, what you're going to do, just like every other assignment, is you're going to access this assignment section, find a work of art that either exemplifies this idea of technology being a wonderful thing to promote communication and to um, share with the world in a positive way, or critical reflection on the potential consequences of pushing technology too far. Um, that is a, those are two very, very broad perspectives. I understand that. Um, and I did that for a specific reason because this can take on the form of really anything that you personally feel is either controversial in that it's critical reflection or is potentially a, a really good thing for um, human beings to know about. So again, very broad. If you have any questions, please let me know. 
Um, I'm posting this video on Friday, March 22nd. So I do want to just remind everybody that your museum project is due on Sunday, March 24th. If you do nothing else this weekend because your project is done, that's fine. I just want to give you that gentle reminder that your museum project is due on Sunday. I look forward to seeing what you bring to the table. And if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, reach out. I know some of you have. Please continue to do so. I look forward to hearing from you.